I'm guessing you tipped Bazori off to the traitor? Yes. Any news? Nothing since Richard's report. My city is in danger. Everything I've built, all the dreams I've invested. That Judas is a threat to everything. Not for long. You'll bounce back. Yes. Congratulations on your negotiations with the Chantry. Our agreement with Hartford is crucial. Your wish is my command. I always knew I could count on you. You're a true ally, a loyal one, a future asset in my primogen. But one thing at a time. Before we get there, I have another favor to ask of you. What a surprise. About what I told you earlier concerning Delson and Long Island. I've got a plan. Oh, I know that look. Hazel... This is the best moment to strike. That sounds like the definition of rushing into things. Yes, but we have no choice, Delson. We need to blind them, from the inside. They know too much about it. We have to change that. For that, we need someone to hit them with a surprise attack from within their compound. I wish that person luck. It's you. That's way out of my league! Hazel's not asking for your opinion. You proved you were reliable with Hartford. We need your skill sets for such a risky and vital task. That's precisely what's got me on edge. It's your chance to prove to the court once and for all that you deserve a place on the council, M.M. After this, you'll be untouchable. I sure hope so. All right? How do I get on this island? By boat? I doubt it. Coastline's under surveillance. So I swim across, all right? What then? Kai has wrote a program that can help us. If you can upload it into their system, it'll corrupt all the data they've got in their database. Their systems, the archives, it'll all be lost. Allowing us to cover our tracks. It's our best shot at making it through this. You'll just have to insert it into a computer that's on their network. That's absolutely essential. Any questions? Your plan sounds pretty old school. There's no way to do that remotely? We've tried, but Leto's agents weren't able to breach their security. Their network's too highly protected. That's why we need you. I see. Am I allowed to take a partner? I'd feel a lot better about this if I had someone covering my back. I understand, but that's not possible. We're already taking a risk by sending a person in to infiltrate their hideout. Got it. So, let me get this straight. You want me to infiltrate the enemy base alone? The same enemies who just slaughtered half the camp. Quit whining. You can have help. Oh, really? Your task will not be easy. You'll need a diversion while you sabotage their system. A raid near their base, for example. That could work. Who will you send? I refuse to sacrifice any more of our people. So we might as well send in the riffraff. The Anarchs could do the job. Come again? You heard me. I want you to go see them and convince them to go with you to Long Island. You're trying to thin their herd. I'm balancing the scales, that's all. They can't stand us. They'll never agree to fight for us. Let alone on their own without us. They don't have to know they'll be alone. Lead them to believe our forces will join up with them. The SI is a threat to the entire city. They're just as concerned as we are. Right then. Let's say I agree. You don't have a choice, but I'll humor you. How am I supposed to go about it? I can't just go chasing down every Anarch I know to ask for their help. 
There's only one Anarch that counts. They're Baron. Randall Thane? That's right. He's in charge of the various Anarch gangs in the region. I don't know where he is right now. You'll need to use your network. Hmm. I've got an idea of who I can ask. What can I use as leverage if they try to negotiate? Money. Favors. Offer them whatever seems useful. All right. One more thing. Don't tell anyone about your task. Not even your sire. I don't want the Council poking their noses into this. That will be all. I'm counting on you, M.M. Be careful, and good luck. <laughs> I'm gonna need it. M.M., there you are. I'm sorry I wasn't here to meet you when you got back. I was busy. Everyone's got their priorities, I guess. It's not like I've been waiting for hours. Oh, please. You're always asking for more space. You're going to complain about me giving you space now? I'm sorry I hoped for a little bit of support from you. You haven't asked for any since you threw me out of your life. Excuse me? What are you talking about? We never... Broke up? It's been 30 years, Amem. What? I don't remember. I... Come on. I get the feeling we need to clear up a few things. <sighs> yeah. Come on. Tell me what's going on. The warlocks. I knew their library would leave a mark. They fucked with my head. So, if I understand right, you have no memory of our breakup. None whatsoever. I really thought that we... I mean... You know. There's a reason the warlocks have a bad reputation. And you said it's been 30 years? More or less. That seems like forever. And then again, the blink of an eye for us. Believe me, it's been a long 30 years. When I was there, with the Tremere, I saw things, glimpses of the past. It was like I was reliving certain episodes of my past. I guess that's what Osborne meant when he told me about the memories. What exactly did you see? I saw my trial. You know, for destroying Pro Bono. You've really got a knack for stirring up happy memories. Hey, I didn't get to choose them. Anyway, I don't even remember destroying him. Or why. It's a long story, Mem. And it's not really a happy one. That's all the more reason! I want to know what happened. It's my memory, not some game. Exactly. I don't want to see you suffer again. I won't allow it. But it's not your choice. It's not you we're talking about. It's me. I can't just sit here not knowing. I won't tell you a thing. Hilda, please. I said no. There's no point in insisting. Fine. Whatever you want. That's all. I'm sorry you had to go through that again. I can't imagine how upsetting it must have been. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that with me. I'm sorry. I've got to go. I need to take some time to process all of this. The prince is sending me out on another task. I can't screw up. What kind of task? I'm sorry, but I can't talk about it. Hazel made that exceedingly clear. If she thinks things are better like that, I believe her. For God's sake, Amem, I'm your sire. You should trust me, not that snake in the grass. Personally, I've never had anything bad to say about Hazel. Unlike me, is that it? <laughs> You'd be singing a different tune if you knew what I know. 
If I knew what? Nothing. You wouldn't believe me anyways. Fine. I'll just make your life miserable until you spill the beans. Seriously? You know how stubborn I can be when I want something. Hazel's a smart woman. She knows what she needs to do to get what she wants. And she wants you. That's going too far. You think it's an honor, but you should really be worried. Hazel never does anything she's not sure she'll benefit from, which means she's got ways to make you bend to her will. She's careful to hide her secrets from you, safe behind her herald. Tonight could be your last chance to discover them. Very well. Let's move on. You're right. You should go get some rest, and do think over what we've discussed. Promise me you'll be careful. I'll try. Don't even think about it. I wasn't going to. Did you need something else? You sure seem ticked at the prince. We've got different political views, that's all. It's rather healthy, actually. There's nothing worse than a council that's enthralled to its prince. That I can believe. But it seemed like there was something else. What? I'm worried about you, that's all. I've seen Hazel spin her web around other kindred. I'm worried she's doing the same thing with you. Playing the cynic, I'd say you were just jealous. I don't want her throne, Amem. I'm just fine where I am. But since you don't believe me, go take a look around. I'm sure you'll find the answers to your questions. Just a bit of friendly advice. The reports from Richard and Laisha are truly frightening. I never thought I'd see a day like this. Predators never see themselves as prey. We're going to have to be extremely cautious if we want to survive. Do you have any plans? No, I'm waiting for Hazel's orders. We're dependent on her now more than ever. I can't imagine you waiting for the prince to do something. But here I am, doing just that. No, you've always got a plan B. You're not telling me everything. I... fine. You win. I can't talk about it here, but yes, I've got our backs covered. Our backs? You're my blood, Mem. But enough about that. Hazel seems to have a few cards up her sleeve. Let's put our faith in that for now. I gotta go. I've got stuff to do. Just a sec. I know Hazel told you not to talk about it. But please, at least tell me where you're headed. You're unbelievable. The air is thick in here. You can understand my concern, can't you? I'm going to see the Anarchs. What? It's a long story. I'll explain when I get back. I've really got to go. All right. Be careful, ma'am. What's going to happen to my vessels? I'm sorry, but I need to take a break. My blood is excellent. I'm available. Everything. 
Do you think we have I'd better hurry. If Zeus had chosen a flower to reign over all others, the rose would be queen. A direct route to the prince's apartments. April plays the guard dog. The swan's nest. I hope it's worth it. Didn't know Hazel was into music. There are faint marks on the wall. There are faint marks on the wall. I've always found swans very moving. They're beautiful, but full of melancholy. It's a nice symbol. I get the feeling something's missing. I get the feeling something's missing. Miley? And then? Miley. That you? Yeah. What are you doing here? Take it easy. Hazel sent me to get something for her. A file. Everything is fine. All right? Hazel... Oh. Okay. I... Trust you. But... You have to leave. She doesn't like visitors. It'll only take me a sec. I understand better now why Dijon never mentioned his sire. Hazel's always one step ahead.
Hazel had another child before Miley? Shit. I had no idea. Seeing as how it ended, I'm not really surprised. I wonder if... That noise. Something moved. So Hazel has her eye on my clubs. Ugh, politics. Always politics. What's her game? Is this how she thanks her allies? That explains why Hazel's holding off on Fang's embrace. Underwood. What a creep. The Zori is a loyal dog. And Hazel's got him on a short leash. Hazel said there was an accident, but it was actually an execution. If Leisha were to find out... I heard you, poking around. Hey. Hazel has no intention of letting Bazori embrace his retainer, does she? How do you- Does it matter? Answer the question. She's scared. She'll lose an ally. She's all alone, M.M. That doesn't excuse her lies. Galeb deserves to know. N no Hazel needs him. Especially now. Did you know about Laisha's kid? Did you know Hazel gave the order to destroy her? It was necessary. Too many problems. She was... dangerous. Hazel's trying to buy out the Black Rattlers. Did you know? Don't be angry, M.M. It's not about you. That remains to be proven. Why didn't she tell me? Princes... don't talk. 
That's gonna have to change if she wants me to join her council. Hazel does what she thinks is right. Not to hurt anyone. She's a good person, M.M. For real. She's trying to protect us. I hope you're right. I should go. It's gonna be a long night. First, the Anarchs. Mm. But I have to find them first.